नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द वैल्यूएशन ऑफ एच लिमिटेड हैज बीन डन बाय एन इन्वेस्टमेंट एनालिसिस बेस्ड ऑन एक्सपेक्टेड फ्री कैश फ्लो ऑफ फिफ्टी फोर लैक्स फॉर द फॉलोइंग ईयर एंड एक्सपेक्टेड ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ नाइन परसेंटेज द एनालिसिस हैज एस्टिमेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ हेंसल लिमिटेड टू बी रुपीज एटीन हंड्रेड लैक्स However, he committed a mistake of using highlight the portion book value of the debt in equity. The book value weights employed by the analysis are not known, but you know that Hensel Limited has cost of equity of twenty percentage and post tax cost of debt of ten percentage. So K E is given and K D is given. the value of the equity is thrice its book value whereas the market value of the debt is 19th of the book value what is the correct value of hensel limited that is a question i request all of you to go through the question please dear students a question is providing the information like this valuation of a company called hensel limited has already been done by an investment analysis based on expected free cash flow of 54 lakhs so free cash flow for end of year 1 is 54 lakhs for the following year means end of year 1 and expected growth rate of 9% the analysis has estimated value of the company to be 1800 lakhs so valuation of the firm is given as 1800 lakhs so this is free cash flow for firm however he committed of a mistake of using book value of debt in equity so we understand let's say the weighted average cost of capital is found by using book value weights we already have studied at our second level that there are two methods of making calculation of the weighted average cost of capital one is book value approach and another is market value approach it has been given that they have used the book value approach for the purpose of making calculation of value of the firm okay proceeding for the <clears throat> the book value weights employed by the analysis are not known but you know that hensel limited has cost of equity of 20 percentage and post tax cost of debt of 10 percentage so post tax cost of debt financing is 10 percentage the value of the equity is thrice its book value so market value of the equity is three times of the book value of equity and uh, market value of the debt is 9/10 so 9 divided by 10 of book value of the debt what is the correct value of the company that is a question so basically over here the question says indirectly that say instead of book value weighted average cost of capital if we would have used the market value weighted average cost of capital okay weighted average cost of capital using the market value weights what would be the value of the firm that is a question we understand logically that uh, free cash flow of the firm will go, is going to remain same in that so there is of course no change the growth rate is also going to remain same that is also not going to change cost of equity is going to remain same in that also there will not be any change post tax cost of debt financing will also remain same that is 10 percentage okay these things are going to remain same i want any of you to give answer in the chat box 
that what would be the answer of the value of the firm with weighted average cost of capital based on market value weights. Let us have understanding that's how to make the calculation of answer. First of all, I'm giving you say uh, the overall how to do answer. Uh, let us have understanding that say uh, how to make the calculation of answer. See basically, basically value of the firm is calculated as free cash flow for firm divided by weighted average cost of capital minus growth rate. That is the way we are required to make the calculation of answer. This is what the formula is. Everybody is requested to pay attention. Free cash flow for the firm is 54 lakhs. What is the weighted average cost of capital that, that we do not know? Minus the growth rate is 9%. Now, we are required to compute the weighted average cost of capital. Now, for that, so what is the formula? We understand that so the formula is like this. Cost of equity into weight of equity plus cost of debt into weight of debt. Okay, simple weighted average formula. This is 20 percentage. This is 10 percentage. However, we do not know this weight of equity. However, we do not know this weight of debt. These two values we do not know. Okay. However, we have one more information. That say the market value of the equity is three times of the book value of equity. Market value of the debt is nine tenth of the book value of the debt. That is the way say we have the kind of uh, the information given to us. So we understand that say first of all we are required to compute that say what must be the weighted average cost of capital on book value basis and for that say again we can use this formula. The formula will work like this value of the firm is equal to free cash flow for the firm divided by Weighted average cost of capital minus growth rate. Value of the firm which is given to us in the question is 1800 lakhs. Free cash flow for the firm is given to us in the question 54 lakhs. Growth rate is given as 9 percentage. So this is supposed to be calculated as balancing figure. Suppose for example, suppose for example, this answer comes to 15 percentage. I am just taking an assumed figure to just give explanation to you. Now we understand that say it is the equity debt. This is weight of equity. This is 1 minus weight of equity. What is the cost of equity? 20. What is the cost of debt? 10. So 20 into weight of equity. So it is 20 into weight of equity. 10 into 1 minus weight of equity. So 10 minus 10 into weight of equity. Its total is, its total is in assumed figure about 15 percentage. So you have one equation? Yes. You have one variable? Yes. So over here, we will be able to find weight of equity as balancing figure. Suppose for example, suppose for example, weight of equity comes to by solving all this equation as 0 0.40. So automatically the weight of debt will be 0 0.60. The question is providing the information that the market value of the equity is 3 times of the book value of equity. So 0 0.40 into 3, 1.2. 0 0.60 into 9 by 10, that comes to 0.54. So what is the total? Total is 1.2 plus 0.54. That comes to 1.74. So 1.2 divided by 1.74. It is 0 
that is deducted from 1. So it is 3103. That is the way we will have the weights, like the proportion to be calculated of equity in debt. Once we compute the weight, that we can keep over here. It is on the market value basis. We will compute the weighted average cost of capital. And then finally, we will get the value of the firm. That is the simple sequence in which we are required to do answer. So what is the sequence? I just repeat that. First of all, dear students, you are required to make the calculation of the weighted average cost of capital on book value basis. The second thing that say you are required to find is the weight of equity. That is the second working that you have to do. Third is you are required to compute the market value of the equity and market value of the debt using the book value and market value proportion and based on that we will compute the weights. This is the step number 4. Calculation of the weighted average or overall cost of capital. That is the answer. And the final answer is so the step number 5 in which we will make the calculation of the value of the firm. These are the 5 simple steps in which we have to do answer. So read an answer. Working note number 1. Calculation of weighted average cost of capital on book value basis. In the write down. Value of the firm is equal to free cash flow of the firm divided by weighted average cost of capital minus growth rate. Weighted average, sorry, free cash flow for the firm divided by value of the firm. Free cash flow for the firm divided by value of the firm. Whatever the answer that we have, to that we will add the growth rate. So 5400 lakhs divided by 1800 lakhs. Whatever the answer that we have, to that is a growth rate of 0 0.09 is added. 0 0.03 plus 0 0.01. Point 0.12 that is 12 percentage. Working note number 2, calculation of book value of equity, there are two sources of finance, debt and equity. It will be multiplied with the respective debt weight. This is WD. So this is 1 minus WD. Cost. This is 10 and this is 20. Weight into cost. 10 WD. 20 minus 20 WD. Okay, 1 minus WD is multiplied with 20. That is the way the weighted average cost of capital is found. Sorry, 
cost of capital is derived, it is 12 percent. Now we will compute the weight of debt as balancing figure. Next, 10 WD plus 20 minus 20 WD is equal to 12. So it is 10 minus 20 is negative 10. minus 20. WD is equal to minus 8 upon minus 10. So both of them will be converted to positive. So weight of debt financing will be 0.8. Weight of debt is 0.8 and weight of equity will be 0.2. This is the book value weight that will be converted into market weight. And in my opinion, this is the most important working that we have. Working note number 3, calculation of WACC using market value weight. This is the most important working. See, column number 1 is once again source of finance. In that it is debt and then it is equity. We understand that say the next column will be weight, book value weight. In that it is 0 0.80 and this is 0 0.20. Market value weight. In that it is 0 0.8 into 3. That is 2.4. I'm sorry, into 9 divided by 10. Point seventy two point two into three that is point six. So we will be having point seventy two plus point six one point thirty two. So it is point seventy two divided by one point thirty two. So, 0.5454 or 5455 and 4545. That is the way we will have the weights. Cost of capital is already provided to us in the question. This is 10 and this is 20. So, K into W. That is the way the weighted average or overall cost of capital will be found. So we will have 0.5455 into 10, 5.455, into 20, 9.09. So 14.545. That is the way the weighted average cost of capital using market value weights will be calculated. Next is calculation of value of the firm. 
free cash flow for the firm divided by weighted average cost of capital minus growth rate. Free cash flow for the firm is 54 lakhs. divided by weighted average cost of capital that is 14.545 less growth rate 0.09 54 lakhs divided by 0 0.05545 comes to 9 crore 73 lakhs 85,031 that is the way value of the firm can be calculated so let us have understanding how to do answer first of all weighted average cost of capital will be found based on the book value basis because that will bring us the weighted average cost of capital based on market value basis. Then we compute the book value of the equity. I'm sorry, we have to change it. It is book value of debt we have found. Please change the heading. Then we understand that say book value of the debt is 0.80. Then weighted average cost of capital using the market value weights. This is important working. Using the book value weights, we understand that say we compute the market value weights. That comes to 54% and 45% is approximately. Multiplying with the respective cost of capital is weighted average cost of capital. Then value of the firm, same free cash flow for the firm divided by Weighted average cost of capital minus growth rate. You can see friends that so the value of the firm from 1800 lakhs has reduced approximately half, not exactly approximately half, just 973 lakhs. So this is a huge impact on the value of the firm. Just if at all you use the market value weights instead of book value. 